What should have been a routine COVID test experience was anything but. At all five Area Summit Labs locations Tuesday, hundreds of people were turned away when the clinics ran out of testing materials. You showed up here today for? A COVID-19 test. And? And they're out of supplies. So we'll have to come back tomorrow. It's due to a surge in testing demand from students back in school, people attending Summerfest, and holiday weekend travel. Kind of came out of nowhere and it's been uh, the perfect storm um, in, in a bad way. I got uh, texted by the company saying to get, I need to get tested for COVID. Meanwhile, Miguel Mares joined a long line for a COVID test at the Hyatt Pharmacies near Mitchell Airport. You've not seen demand like this recently. It's been just crazy, a huge spike in the demand for testing in the last few days. Owner Hashim Zabak says that the longer lines and wait time for appointments in many places might lead some people to skip the test. The wait time is longer even at uh, the big companies. Um, it's taken longer than usual and, um, and that's making people panic. The surge, one UW Health expert says, could put more stress on the testing supply chain. We'll have to make sure that manufacturers can keep up with supply. I think it, it is a real concern, though, that we may find ourselves uh, short of what we need. For many local clinics and labs, it means ramping up staffing. We're hiring as fast as we can. We have uh, five new lab staff starting, starting today. And for anyone needing a COVID test, the best advice may be to prepare in advance. The time to find out testing resources is, is before you need them. So, Kent, back to those summit labs. Will those clinics reopen tomorrow? Yeah, that's the plan. They did get a, a shipment of supplies in. The state uh, DHL also heard about the problem, shipped them 17,000 test kits. So the Summit Labs in the five locations, New Berlin, Delafield, Fox Point, Franklin, and here at Milwaukee's Midtown are all set to resume COVID testing tomorrow. And the Pewaukee site as well. Kent Wayne Scott reporting live in Milwaukee.